Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm outside working on my 98 Altezza. I want to pull two wires out of here so that I can run an oil temp sensor. Now it's time to go into the service manual and have a look. So according to this, we've got the throttle position sensor here, and the blue and yellow wire connects over to the Axel position sensor. So this blue and yellow wire, which is this one here, that will be five volts for our sensor. We need our sensor ground, which I think will be one of these brown ones here. If we pull that through, that'll give us our sensor ground. Now you need to choose what AN volt input you're gonna use. If you're like me and have ITBs, then chances are the Axel position sensor and the airflow meter are gone. In that case, you can use the red wire from the airflow meter or either the green and black or the blue and white from the APS. If you're not running ITBs and you still have all the standard equipment, I'm pretty sure you're going to need to buy the XS expansion loom, XSL, this thing here. And then I'm pretty sure what we're doing here won't apply to you. Those are the three wires we need for an oil temp sensor. Now we need to connect a pull-up resistor between these two. Don't get confused, a pull-up resistor is just a resistor, in this case, 1000 ohms. It could be down the end, it could be up the top, it doesn't matter. Yep, we're going in here again. You've seen me do this before, it's just continuity. You always want to double check. I've got that soldered on. You need to join the resistor between your 5 volt line and your AN volt line for the sensor to function. After you have your 5 volt line connected to the resistor and the resistor connected to your AN volt line, you need to connect your AN volt line and your sensor ground to the sensor. In my case, the brown wire and the red wire, both from where the airflow meter used to be. This thing just works on resistance, so it doesn't matter which side you put to what. There are a few blocked off ports around the oil filter that you can use for your sensor. I'm using this one. Be aware that you may need an adapter. You're gonna need a size eight Allen key. Also be aware that this may be extremely tight. Well, I don't know what the torque setting for this is, but I guess it's um, just gonna be fucking tight. I'm gonna use some of this Permatex thread sealant. 14 millimeter. Give it some twists. Run your cabling. The best route away from the belts. Plug it in and zip tie the wires out of the way. But it doesn't end there. You still have to set it up in the software. This tune I have here was sort of sculpted by someone for me from the basic OEM Alteza tune that Link offers for free. So we're gonna go to ECU settings on the side here and click analog inputs. Now you might remember earlier I said that we used AN Vault 4. Well AN Vault 4 isn't specifically for a temp sensor like the AN temp channels are. As you can see, the software shows four temp channels available. One is for coolant temp, two is for intake air temp, three is ambient air temp. I'm not sure what the ECU would do if you reassigned that, and it's nice to have all the OEM functions, so we'll just leave that alone. And four is only actually available with the add-on cable that Link sells. So we turned AN Vault 4 into a temp channel when we added that resistor. Now, why did you choose AN Vault 4? Well, that's because the first time I checked the software, AN Vault 2 was being used. I didn't take the time to confirm if it was being used by something I actually had or not. I assume that the person that set up this tune would have removed all the things that were no longer being used. Evidently not. Now that you and I know that AN Vault 2 isn't being used, you could just as easily use AN Vault 2 if you want. I'm on AN Vault 4. It works. No problem. Now for the actual setup. So go to ECU settings on the side here, click analog inputs, should be right there. Double click function and set it to GP temp EXT pull up. That stands for general purpose temp sensor external pull up. External pull up is the resistor that we added earlier. The temp channels have that already built in. You need that or it won't work. Add a label to it. We'll get to calibration in a minute. Error low at 0.05 volt will be fine. Error high at 4.95 volts will be fine. Error value, well, you set that wherever you want. I guess 130 is kind of high, but I don't really know. Okay, calibration. You need to tell the software how the sensor reacts to temperature. To do that, you'll need a table of temp versus resistance. Cal table two wasn't being used, so I chose that. How did I know it wasn't being used? Go to ECU settings, then analog inputs, and click the cal table you want to look at. Anyway, okay, cal table two, label it, Input units needs to be ohms. Output units could be Celsius or bald eagles, up to you. 
Output table start, zero degrees seems to be fine. Output table increments, 10 degrees is fine. And then we have Cal2 table, double click that. I have the temperature across the top and then the value of resistance underneath. I hope my oil doesn't go below zero degrees. You need to enter in the resistance value your sensor has at each temperature. You can find these values for a limited number of sensors on the net. Mine wasn't one of them of course, but lucky for me a legend named JP had the values and was kind enough to share them. If you're not so lucky, then using a multimeter, a thermometer and some water, you can cool down and heat up the water to get the resistance values you need. I actually did this before JP gave me the values and what I got was very, very close. It's quite difficult because the temperature is always moving and trying to see the temp and resistance at the same time can be tricky, but it can be done. Thanks again to JP. And after you've done all of that, hopefully you should have a working oil temperature sensor connected to your Link ECU. Now you need to display the thing. So right click on some open space on the screen and then click new view. Then choose what kind of gauge you want. Let's go with a dial gauge. Click analog inputs. Scroll down to AN4 and double click it. That will make it show up on the right over here. Click OK. And there's your gauge. Drag it wherever you want. Resize it how you want. And uh, enjoy. <laughs>